got that nice and laid out, I'm just gonna slide this on off to the side. I'm gonna bring in our pan here. And then I'm just gonna take all of that yummy mixture. We're just gonna place it right down on the sheet, guys. We're just gonna fill it up as much as we can. And there you have it. Okay, shake. Oh, looks so good. So now I'm gonna go ahead and come in with some pre-mixed white chocolate bark here. And what you're gonna do with that chocolate bark is just drizzle it right over the top of this. Just like that, guys. Want it nice and coated. It doesn't have to be too, too coated, but you're just gonna keep repeating that until you've gotten all your chocolate out because you don't want to miss out on some chocolate yes that looks so good mm -mm -mm. okay so now that that chocolate is nicely laid out what we're going to do is we're just going to pop this off to the side for about 30 minutes just enough so that chocolate hardens and we'll be ready to eat all right, guys, look at that. It is looking so tasty. Ooh, 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 ooh. I am so excited to get my hands on some of this. So this chocolate, what you're going to do is just break it on up. And this will add for a nice little bite in between all of that yummy, crunchy cereal. All those fruity flavors. Look at that. Mixed with a little chocolate. The only thing we're missing is a little milk. And that's just about it. Everything else is here. You've got your flavors. You've got your fruits. You've got all the crunchy, savory bits. Walking little snack. If you want a sweet treat for your kiddos, you just pack this in a tiny little lunchbox. They get their little sugar fix and you send them right off to school for their teachers to deal with them. It's win-win. It's just perfect. So now that I've got that nice and mixed up, I'm gonna mix it a little bit further here. Oh, look at that. I can't wait to get a couple bites of this in. Tricks. So, oh, look at that. I've got some chocolate. I've got tricks, Fruit Loops. 